foot to the floor as we go racing in Austria. And once again, it's a good start from Max Verstappen. Lando Norris trying to hold on the inside. George Russell trying to put the nose of his McLaren around the outside, but it's the Ferrari and the Mercedes behind. Hamilton and Carlos Sainz almost going wheel to wheel as they run through turn two on the way to three. And Leclerc and Piastri made contact in turn one, but it's side by side into three. There's barely any space there on the apex. Norris gets enabled. It's Verstappen who already has a second over Lando Norris. And there's your front wing change for Charles Leclerc. A disaster of a lap one for the Monegasque. Charles Leclerc has had a, a, a really unfortunate weekend. So he's pinched. There's no way he can't go inside. He can't go outside. That is a first corner incident. Brenchel. Okay, looks like we're under investigation for turn one. So we need to let Sainz pass. He's 0.9 behind. Yeah, well, that turned out to be no further. In, uh, no further. That was Fernando Alonso steaming in, forcing the Sauber driver off into the runoff. Ole. Yeah. The bite to that, didn't he? Not the smoothest entry for Lewis Hamilton. Over a curb somewhere out there. As we see the move down the pit straight, finally then Esteban Ocon getting through on Fernando Alonso. And I'm going to assume Pierre Gasly will do the same thing heading up, but it's Alonso then with a wonderful slipstream there. Gasly goes up the inside, and that is choreographed. It's synchronized swimming, isn't it? But can they, make, can they get through unscathed? No, back. And yeah, you're obliged to leave. If you move twice, you've got to leave a car's width in the braking zone, especially, and that's what he did. And this then is the opposite thing happening down at four and around the outside just keeps it in play and that's when they started to get a little bit sensible finally great racing though for us to enjoy yeah. same now and this is where the slow pit stop came the left rear didn't come off the salva left norris straight through why are they holding them it seemed to be a an uncertainty, didn't it? Look how close they are as they left the pits. A far cry from his 1.9 uh, second stop. Get that information straight away, because that means Lando's got to take it much more carefully now. He dives down the inside. It's a late move for Lando Norris. Locks up the good measure. Can he keep it on the track? No, he can't. He'll have to give the position back to Verstappen. But Norris comes out ahead with the DRS. Is he going to let Verstappen back through? Who peels out to the side, downhill through turn four, round the outside, Verstappen back through, but that was running out wide, Martin. That's another track limits yeah. violation for Norris. This is the number one Red Bull fighting for the win around the Red Bull ring. Norris closing in though, trying to deprive him, dives down the inside. It's another late move for Norris who keeps it on the track. It's Verstappen who has to go wide. He rejoins ahead of him. Hulkenberg got a penalty for that in the sprint. I don't think he should have done. I think that's normal racing in turn three. And Verstappen uh, went off the track and kept the place. But as I say, I think it got confused by yesterday's decision. Yeah, I used to give the position back. I was ahead at the apex. Hard fought racing. That is what we're seeing at the moment. As once again, Norris with the DRS on the back of Verstappen. Traffic lurking ahead, though. More of a bona fide overtake with a dive bomb than uh, running. Oh, oh there's contact! Oh, he's got Verstappen a punches his... Um, he's got a rear wheel off! The rim sliding off. Lando Norris with issues as well. The front right tyre looking like it's got damage. Almost driven off the road. Contact then between Max Verstappen and Lando Norris and for the lead of the Austrian three. Grand Prix. Nice. Oh, my God. Both Norris and Verstappen seeing the win taken away. Piastri in third. Nice quick stop from the Red Bull team who put them for so long. And Lando Norris hounding him lap after lap. And is that Lando Norris? Day done. Ted down in the pits. He's climbing out of the car. Yeah. Rounds the final couple of corners. Keeps it neat and tidy within the track limits. And will launch himself to the top of the rostrum. George Russell wins the Austrian Grand Prix, Oscar Piastri will come home in second for McLaren and Carlos Sainz Piastri. In the end, they come home with no podium. Verstappen having to fight hard for fifth with Nico Hülkenberg. He gets it in the end as Perez also trying to pick off Hülkenberg's sick. Perez really wanting to show an improved form here. Holographic.
airdrop has been delivered.